Hello friends and welcome. Today we will learn about schedule compression techniques. We know that schedule can be compressed using these two techniques. First of all we have fast tracking and then we have crashing. Today we will uh, understand these two concepts by a very simple example. So let us understand fast tracking with the example. We know that fast tracking is schedule compression technique and in fast tracking activities are performed in parallel and, and as a result project duration decreases. So let us understand with a simple example. So we have here a project, 12 days project, which has three activities, activity A, activity B, activity C, and these three activities are combined together with finish to start relationship. So here on the top, we have A, B, and C with, with the normal duration. And here in, in, in the below pan, we have activity A, B, C, where activity B, C, all three activities are fast tracked. Okay, well, how did we do the fast tracking? We simply uh, added the one day lead with the activities relationship. For example, activity A and B now are uh, starting together with finish to start minus one, and then it's finish to start minus one. So now you can see that activity B is advanced by one day, and activity C is also advanced by one day. Okay, and in this way, our duration is reduced by two days. Similarly, uh, uh, when we do the fast tracking, it increases the project risks. So let us consider the crashing. Crashing is also a schedule compression technique and in crashing project duration is reduced by adding more resources to the activities. So let us understand a simple example. Here we have the same project ABC and the duration of the project is 12 days and then these three activities are joined together with finish to start relationship. And on all these activities we have one resource scheduled for activity A, one resource is scheduled for activity B and one resource is scheduled for activity C and each resource is costing us $100. So, what if we increase the number of resources on these activities and as, and as a result uh, the duration of the activity decreases. So, let us consider this scenario now. Here we have the same project with three activities and these three activities are combined together with the finish to start relationship and you can see that here now that duration of activity A, is this, these, these are basically the crashed activities. The duration of activity A has now become A two days and the duration of activity become two days and similarly the duration of activity has now become four, uh, two days. So how did this increase? By adding the more resources. In the previous case we have the one resource added here. Here we have two resources and definitely when we have increased the number of resources its cost has also increased. So uh, let us conclude that as we can see that cr crashing has increased the project cost. However at the same time it duration has decreased. So in, in this scenario, we have this project will be completed in, in six days with $300 and, and in the same project, if we have increased the number of resources, the project will be completed in three days and with $600. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing.